In South Korea, where short track is a national sport, it is said that it is An's assignment to win gold in this event. He'll be watched by Kim Don Sun, who thought he had won gold in this event in Salt Lake four years ago. It was written in South Korea this week that unlike most people, Koreans find beauty at the Winter Olympics not in figure skating, but in short track. And now Kim watches not one, but two countrymen. The very talented youngster Lee Ho Suk will also skate in this final. Also in this final field, two talented Chinese skaters. Li Jia Jun has four Olympic medals, and Li Ye, Charles Hamlin of Canada, and 16-year-old Victor Nock of Hungary, the unexpected finalist. Thirteen and a half laps here for gold. Now, Dan, you talked about team skating, the concept of team skating. There are two Korean skaters, two Chinese skaters here. Is it possible? Team skating, we have to remember, is actually illegal. Team skating is when two skaters from the same country work together to better their team's position. An and Lee are supposed to be racing as individuals, not helping one another. When you see them skating together now, they're not really doing anything this second to help one another, but the Koreans have been accused and are notorious for team skating. The only time I saw it called is seeing the women of the Korean team called for team skating. And I think uh, Hamlin is the lone Canadian to be watching out for it, not just for the Koreans, but the Chinese skaters. But something we've become accustomed to seeing the Tour de France, for example, where it's an accepted practice. It's clearly stated it's not in the rule book, but you can't do it short track. You can't do it in short track, but it's very difficult to call. You have to get inside a skater's head to know whether or not he's conspiring. Right now, Li Ye of China has the lead. Liu Jiajun is second. And the Korean skaters are hanging with On in fourth and Li Ho Su in fifth. Li Jiajun is a very experienced skater and very smart. He's in the front and he'll give the Koreans a run for their money. So now it's Lee who's got a dynamic outside pass. Other skaters, the American skaters, rave about his abilities on the outside. He takes the lead, only to have it taken back for the moment by Hamlin of Canada. And Hamlin's doing the smart thing here, being in the front. He's going to make the Koreans or the Chinese skaters pass him if they want to win. Hamlin, Hamlin's a very strong skater, so playing from the front is a good idea. And now the real race begins with three and a half laps to go. And there's the move by Lee Ho Suk with on right on his back. And now the Chinese skaters have to try to catch the Koreans. It's Lee and On. These Korean skaters are going to be very difficult to pass, though. Hamlin looks like he was able to sneak in. Hamlin on the inside. Now Lee Jiajun trying to get through on the inside. That was a questionable pass by Jiajun. We'll see if he gets called on it. But it looks like here are the Koreans, 1-2. They won no medals to the men in Salt Lake. And they're trying to erase that in a big way. And it's On who takes gold and Lee Ho Suk silver. What does this mean to South Korea? They were shamed. They were shut out, the men were, in the medal count in Salt Lake City. They win gold and silver. The 1500 is really the South Koreans' distance. Once they were 1 2 going into the last few laps, I knew they were going to stay there and only build on their lead. The flag goes a lot, and how must this feel for Kim Don Sung? And unlike four years ago, the Korean flag will proudly stay aloft here as An takes gold, Lee takes silver, and China's Li Jia Jun wins his fifth Olympic medal of bronze. The 20th Olympic Winter Games on NBC are brought to you by